So what attracted the two of you to this project? Why did you want to play Maisie? Oh. Hmm. Should I go first? Okay. I, I, uh, it, was, it was a great script, and I felt it was a character that um, I hadn't played before. I, I read Henry James's novel, What Maisie Knew, uh, when I was a teenager, and I, it, it felt like an interesting take on it. It felt very relevant. It felt like uh, a journey, a struggle that a lot of kids uh, go through today. And uh, uh, and I and then I met Scott and David, the directors of the film, and I'd seen uh, Deep End before. And I thought it was great when Tilda Swinton. And, um, but then it's all about Maisie. It's her journey. It's she's in every single scene of the film. So in in we hadn't met Onata when I, when I, when I got involved and when I met Scott and David. So we were talking a lot about the importance of finding an amazing kid. Um, met a couple of, of young actresses and, and uh, some really good ones. But one day they called me. I was in LA. They were in New York. They called me and said that uh, they met this young lady who was pretty amazing <laughs> and sent me a clip. And I saw it, and I got on a plane, flew out to New York. We met up at David's house and played for a couple of hours. And you were a pretty good artist. I didn't know that. You guys had fun playing together? Well, well you want to tell her what we did? We um, made the castle with the moat, and we made, we colored in people, and then we cut them out. And we made it so that they would stand up. In the castle? Well, the castle wasn't really pop out. Okay. No. But the people were so we could place them. Like, in the castle around. Did we make, like, animals as well? Or was that when we shot the scene? That was when we shot the scene. Because we had, like, dangerous animals in the moat, right? Like crocodiles and polar bears and stuff. Wow. But it doesn't really make sense to have them all in the same moat, yeah. right? It's kind of stupid because they would eat each other, wouldn't they? Yeah. Bad call. It was my <laughs> idea. I don't know, you know. It's a different kind of animal kingdom. Yeah. Was there um, a scene that you really liked in the film that didn't make the final cut? Um, I don't know. Did we shoot any scenes that didn't make the final cut? I don't think so. I think I don't. I don't think so. What was your favorite scene? To oh, yes, my favorite scene was when we were in Chinatown mm -hmm. with the turtle. Yeah, with the turtle. You like the turtle, and then you got to use it again at the end. What's the turtle's name? Tallulah. Tallulah. Oh, it's beautiful. I don't name. know if it's a boy or a girl. Tallulah. Well, you know where you know where she is now. Where is she? She's at my house. Really? You got to yeah. take her home? Is Lucky. she alive? <laughs> we'll find out later. Maybe. Maybe. Yeah. <laughs> so, She's a turtle. It's difficult to tell. So you kind of play a musician, and you play the daughter of a musician. Or do either of you play music? Do you sing? Do you want to get into music? What are you doing next? You want to tell about your next project? I'm doing an opera. Whoa. Uh, are you singing? You going to wear the crazy costumes? So you really like music? I'm going to play a pirate. That's so cool. Yeah. Oh my gosh. Pirate opera. It's a Pirates of Penzen, all kids first. That's ambitious. That's going to be great. Congratulations. Thank you. You think I can be in it? Am I too old? <laughs> too tall. Too tall? Oh, no. <laughs> can I come see it at least? Or? Thank you. <laughs> Will I get to go backstage and say hi after the show? Or are you too famous now? She might be too famous. Yeah. All right, I'll send you some flowers. What about you? The music, did you, do you like playing, do you play instruments? I don't, I don't. I, uh, I'm not a musician. I wanted to be, I wanted to be a rock star when I was a kid. I wanted to sing. I wanted to be a punk rocker. Um, I was very into that, that, that kind of, that scene, that music when I was a kid. But I 
felt that I wasn't talented enough to, to be on stage, so I thought it was better in the crowd. Cool. Um, and when you first read the script, what was your take on it? Because, you know, it's told in, entirely through the eyes of Maisie. Um, I thought it was uh, so well written, so smart and emotional, and, um, and I got excited because it was a character that um, I hadn't played before. And just very different from Eric Northman, the guy I play on, on, on True Blood, and also most of the films I've done lately. Um, and that got me really excited. 